Larry Anglisano reporting at AirVetra 2025 for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. I'm with uh, Jim Rutler at Ithra Aviation. Jim, this is our annual sit down in this uh, pretty nice RV10. Last year you had the uh, HealthView system, which is a panel mounted uh, biometrics display. In Ithra tradition, you've made it better. Uh, sort of a total redesign uh, and all for the better, right? Right, thank you, Larry. I appreciate the opportunity to be here for our annual meeting and to review the product lines. Uh, this year, we have to present uh, to you the HealthView 2, which is a complete improvement and redesign over the HealthView 1. It allows total control of the oxygen as well as enhanced output of the parameters and customizability. So we can kind of get into all that as we go, but that's what we're here to talk about. Okay, let's uh, power up this RV10 and do it. Uh, we'll get a look. So let's talk about these uh, control heads. Uh, these are not made by Ithra, but a partnership with? Air Avionics out of Germany. In Germany, Air has about 40% market share for radios, transponders, and ADSB weather and traffic. And they've got a, a line of control heads, both a two and a quarter, a three and an eighth, and a portable version that all work with the HealthView 2 as the uh, user interface. We developed the data bridge behind the scenes to communicate with our devices and output to the hardware, the ATD57 in this case is what we're looking at here. So in my glider flying, I've twisted some knobs on these units. They're pretty popular in that uh, market, aren't they? They are. I would say probably 80% uh, plus or minus uh, of the new uh, gliders that are manufactured in the world have uh, one form or another of the uh, air avionics equipment. So they're quite popular throughout the world. Uh, in the United States, Air has uh, debuted their presence here in the American market as of Oshkosh. They're in Hangar B if you want to check them out. But we're using them uh, for their control head for the user interface. Uh, it's a brilliant, uh, ergonomical, uh, elegant solution, then I think it's going to be very popular among our uh, users. So what we're looking at here is you can see the shield carbon monoxide data, uh, temperature dew point information. This automatically popped up. It was all gathered automatically using Bluetooth low energy, so there's no wires for most of the connections. The shield is from our popular line of carbon monoxide detectors. If you own one, it will automatically show up on the ATD, uh, help you too as it did here, as well as the Metis. Uh, this is our temperature dew point the sensor that is on the wings. If you own one of those, it'll automatically show up. Most of the data is collected wirelessly, including the two products I mentioned, but also the Illyrian line, which is the blood oxygen monitor. The two products that are collected with a dedicated wire are the oxygen, so the turbo and the AVI. And that's just because uh, with those products, you want to have a dedicated line of communication that uh, is reliable. So for both monitoring the oxygen delivery as well as control of it. And so that's how it gets the data, but otherwise very low profile, uses about 10 to 20 milliamps total of power and uh, extremely customizable. I'll go ahead and turn on one of the turbos. And in this aircraft, we've got a four place turbo oxygen system. So that uh, what we've got is it's making the oxygen as you fly using about six amps of power, uh, 80 watts. Now I've got the left side of the aircraft on one and the right side of the aircraft on the other so that we can get uh, about a liter and a half a minute of total flow to the pilot and the co-pilot. Turbos are about six inches by six inches by 10 inches in dimension. They weigh seven pounds and they consume about 80 watts of power, as I mentioned. They output to the health view and you can control the health view. So as you can see here, we've got the Turbo 2 on and the Turbo 2 flow rate is showing at 1.1 liters a minute. So what we've got here is pilot blood oxygen level and heart rate showing in the upper right. There's four boxes along the right panel and then you've got three uh, bar gauges in the left. Each one of these is fully customizable, and I'll show you how to do that in a bit, Larry, but here, because I've got the two turbos, I chose to feature both the flow rate of the Turbo 1 and the flow rate of the Turbo 2, as well as the oxygen pressure that is remaining in the tank. There's a fault indication here showing in the simulation mode, just uh, monitoring the systems and uh, informing you as to whether or not there's a malfunction. Some of those malfunctions could be over temperature, lack of flow rate. If you put it into injection and it's not sensing any injection, it's going to alert you of that so that you can monitor and take action. Okay. 
When you uh, set up the Health View, this is where the real power behind the Health View 2 in conjunction with the Air Avionics team, what we've developed here is super um, powerful in that you can customize it to, to meet the needs of your particular aircraft and mission. So you don't do this on every flight, but just showing you that when you purchase the system or you add any new equipment, you choose automatically what you've got. If you've got a two-place AVI, on-demand, pulse-demand system from Ithra, or you've got one, say, turbo that is uh, used in conjunction with that AVI. You got a four-seat aircraft, maybe you're using two Illyrian sensors, and you've got the medicine shield, and you can plug in your oxygen volume there. When you do that and you escape, it will create an auto layout for you, which means that all the pages will be developed for you. Now you can customize off that pivot and improve it uh, okay. to meet your needs. Hit that inner knob, it generates the layout to feature all the fields that we think are valuable for the products that you own. You back up, now we go back to the main screen, you can see there's quite a bit more pages that have been added. We got pilot and passenger for the AVI systems, passenger 2 and passenger 3 now, again for the AVI and the turbo systems combined. And then because we indicated that we had a shield and a Metis, all the fields from those products are uh, presented. So in, in some, you've got uh, a comprehensive look at all of your health and environmental parameters including flow rate, oxygen pressure, temperature of the cabin, and including flow rates for each of the passengers that are breathing, respiration rate, how much oxygen is remaining, and uh, carbon monoxide levels, outside air temperature, dew point spread, uh, and your pressure altimeter information there. Relative humidity to round it out. If you don't like these fields and you want to change them at any time, you hold that inner knob and we can jump over very easily. Even in flight I do this. While I'm flying, if I've got a passenger that, for example, flying with my dad, he's a bit older and, and sometimes I want to monitor his blood oxygen level on my page to make sure that uh, he's doing well during flight. So come back over to the layout page and you choose the page you want to modify and you can rename it if you like and you can adjust which uh, dosage control that that page jumps to. But you've got the three bar graphs that we've seen and the four boxes, and you can change any one of these. For example, we could do the lower right box and choose any one of the fields um, that Ithra has to offer. There's 60 of them, so we can jump on down to um, passenger one or co-pilot, and we choose some of the fields that are there. Here we go, Illyrian passenger one, blood oxygen level and heart rate. And we'll feature that right there. And as we escape out on page one, now we're gonna get all of the parameters that we had before. In addition, we're gonna have the passenger one blood oxygen level. Again, I do this in flight and it's very convenient. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, there's nothing here is mission critical. So you can go ahead and make the modifications in route to meet the needs of the mission. Another feature that we've got, a bit of an advanced feature, but we actually tailor each flight because the layout nine pages with uh, you know uh, seven data points per page is over 60 fields and you got to scroll through them so perhaps you don't want all of that on a particular flight you've only got one passenger well here you can just dial it back very easily before the flight it will automatically adjust what is presented to only include those parameters you can see the pages were significantly reduced from seven pages there down to four just to feature the information that would be appropriate for one passenger and again you can modify that the dosage control is uh, there are two knobs primarily for control <clears throat> And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for an AVI because the AVI really features, the on-demand features a number of, um, you can control the dosage for each of the pilot and passengers independently. And so I'd like to go ahead and change this, turn off the turbo and feature only the AVI on the layout. So we'll do that, escape out, hit the auto layout and come back to the main page, escape out. Now we've got pilot and passenger on the Avion pulse demand system. And if I want to adjust the dosage, the inner knob here is for dosage control. So I can adjust each individual uh, to have a little bit more oxygen or a little bit less. Our algorithm is based on the one liter per minute per 10,000 feet. But in some cases that might not be sufficient for you or your passengers. And you have the ability to bump them up or bump them down as you uh, see fit. Now, on bumping it down below 100%, we turn that off unless you're also monitoring the blood oxygen level. So if you are monitoring the blood oxygen level for that individual, then we do allow you to bump it down so we make sure that you're aware of what their, um, what their level of cognition is. 
Other features that are really uh, meaningful here are the arm mode and the boost mode. The arm mode uh, allows you to turn the oxygen on and off automatically based on parameters that are met. In this case, we've got the arm mode on. And what does that mean? So if we come over here to the health view setup and we do the installation one time before you fly the, the very first time, you're not gonna have to do this at each time in the aircraft, but you go to the AVI trigger modes and you can set these parameters like blood oxygen level, heart rate, and altitude. And once you've set these triggers, if you've crossed any one of those thresholds, and you're in arm mode, the oxygen will come on or off based on that uh, per user. So for example, if you're in the run-up line and you have it in armed mode, you're below 10,000 feet, but your heart rate is surging because you're about to enter IMC and you're departing IMC. We'll actually turn on the oxygen for the pilot for that individual so that their heart rate is uh, more limited, that oxygen has an effect on that. Mm -hmm. Or if your blood oxygen level happens to dip and you need a little bit more, uh, and you put it at 92%, the auction will turn on for that individual. Arm mode is optional and not required. And lastly, I'd like to show the boost mode. The boost mode here gives that individual equivalent of 12 liters a minute while that boost mode is engaged. So that's a quite a bit of oxygen. If you were ever needing a little bit more, say you're, you've seen your, you're at 17,000 feet and you're finding that your blood oxygen level is dipping to 85%, you could hit that boost mode and instantly you're gonna be in the high 90s. It's a lot of oxygen flow. You typically wouldn't run that uh, regularly because the endurance uh, out of the tank will be minimal with it. Um, and we present that to you here in the yellow bar so that you have a, a good view of what you're actually consuming out of the oxygen bottle. Here you can see you've got about 30 minutes left on boost mode. Price point, uh, it comes with all of our auction systems as a default, but if you're upgrading from a pre-existing auction system, price range is $1,500 to $2,000 depending on which uh, product you choose. We've got the small two and a quarter, the three and an eighth, and the portable version. So one of the very exciting things about the hardware is it, it is a companion product of the other air, air, avionics suite of products. So their radios, their transponders, uh, pressure altimeters, ADSB traffic and weather. So for more on that, I'd like to introduce you to Mark Porter of Air Avionics. So we're an uh, European avionics system manufacturer. We've been around in Europe for nearly 20 years now. And this year at Oshkosh 25, we're entering the US market. We're really excited about that. So we have been producing radios, transponders, and traffic awareness systems for many years. And now we bring our product line of ultra compact, very low power, um, and easy to use avionics to the US market. So uh, during this demo, you saw this uh, control head to the right. This is a, uh, what, comm radio with uh, also a, a transponder? Yeah, actually we have a control head that can serve three functions. It can control a comm, it can control a transponder, and it's a primary altimeter. It's all fully TSO approved. And if you're tight on panel space, you can share these three functions in a single display that's still easy to read and easy to operate and the comm radio especially has two pretty nice features first of all if you control the volume you can control the volume of the active and the standby channel independently you can listen to both so it's like having a second comm and you can easily differentiate who's talking due to the volume so you don't need to look inside so much you can just hear which frequency talks and we have a function called say again where you can tap on the button and replay the last incoming transmission so if you miss something like a position report in a pattern you don't have to ask you can just click on the button and it's automatically repeated it's yeah we have three display sizes for our traffic and health view displays these are two inch three inch and a portable version that can be installed externally if there's no space in the panel okay and uh, what's the price point um, the displays start at roughly $700 US, okay. the radio is roughly $1,300 US, okay. and depending on the configuration it goes up to about $4,500 for the entire configuration of radio and transponder all together with an altimeter. Okay, and where can uh, viewers learn more about the product line? Uh, and uh, we have a dealership structure in the US with many dealers who are happy to serve you. And our website, airavionics.com, holds a lot of information about the products. We're happy to answer them in person if you give us a call or an email. Okay.
Well, thanks a lot for the uh, overview, and uh, thanks to Jim Rutler at Ithra Aviation. Where can they learn more about the uh, health food system? But at Ithra Aviation, that's Alpha India Tango Hotel Romeo Echo Aviation.com.